What you just seen was literally my drive from Calgary, Alberta, all the way here to Saskatchewan. It was nothing but flatlands, prairies, tumbleweed, and literally nothing to keep the mind entertained. Now we're about to head into Saskatchewan. I think it's pretty much a whole lot of the same thing. Are you ready? Just pulled into a small town off the highway and I have no idea what the name of it is. There's a home center with no, no parking signs. This town looks really tiny. See streets like that, I don't think I would park down. There's a pub there with one car in front of it. Lots of cars here. And this is something that I would like. What's open here? A fitness center. <laughs> oh yeah, it's busy in there too. Yeah, see, I don't mind parking right here in town. Like if there's other cars around kicking around here, I'll park right there. It doesn't bother me at all. Let's take a cruise. Let's turn left, right. I <laughs> just about said left. Okay, so down here is not a place that I would park. Some people like to be like just wedged back here in the back corner of a dark parking lot. Um, not my area. You know, I always feel like when you tuck it away in the back and kind of hide your vehicle, it's going to be the spot that you're going to have the problem. People are going to break into the van or, you know, I, for me, I would rather be somewhere busy. I don't know why. That's just who I am. Everybody does van life different. Everybody has different kinds of people. Hmm. So without cruising around this town too much. So pulling up here, a lot of things I would do when I come into a town is I'll just sit somewhere for a minute, I'll get a feel for the area, I'll take a look at the type of people that might be walking around, moving around, what's in the area. So far things look okay here. You know, the cars that are parked here are pretty nice, but I'm guessing when that gym closes, all these cars are gonna leave. And I also don't wanna be the only van sitting here in the middle of the road either. <laughs> um, I've had that happen. There is a few cars parked back there. And I don't know, it's a little dark back there. Normally I don't go through this process. You know what, I might actually just go park at that grocery store. What's the worst that can happen? Somebody comes and knocks on my van. At least it's in a nice bright parking lot. Cause I just don't want to be down here if all these cars leave and then it's just me. One drunk dumbass comes out of the pub there late at night and he's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's just go for a little drive. Just cause I got you guys on camera. Let's go for a cruise. You know, there's no reason why I couldn't park right there as well, too. Right by the Remax trailer. I'm gone early in the morning anyway. Like, I'm up at 5 o'clock, so it's not like I'm bothering anybody. There's a nice spot here in front of the liquor store, too. I'd be okay with that spot. Yeah, now we're getting down into like industrial area stuff. But I mean, for some people that have like highly visible campers and stuff down there are great. And guaranteed 90% of the time, you're not gonna get bothered at all. I don't see anything around here for stuff.
even here could be a nice little spot. Huh. But I think for tonight, I am gonna pull myself right over here in the parking lot, right by the Remax trailer. Right there for the night. I don't know, it just feels right. And a lot of times you gotta trust that tummy of yours and just park it. If you are that person that is a little tiny bit scared about places like this, that you're not sure about the neighborhoods and stuff, um, little tiny little things that you can do is just have a, you know, sit here when you park and have a listen to some of the noises that are around here. So when you're lying in bed, you're like, okay, no, I know what that noise is. That's the sound of the tires going over the train tracks that are just over here. You know, you get to hear the sound of the different cars going in a different direction, stuff that you can easily get used to. But one plus side about where I'm parked here is that if you are that kind of person that's a little worried, outside my van, it's hard to see, is surrounded with crunchy snow. All of that crunchy snow, if you're walking around my van, oh, I'm gonna hear it. So just little things like that, if you are happen to be that kind of person that is a super light sleeper and you kind of just wanna know what the noises are around your van before you go to bed, things like that are a good idea. I myself, when I pass out sleeping, I'm out. I am such a heavy sleeper, I hit that pillow and I'm out like a freaking rock and nothing, absolutely nothing is gonna wake me. Okay, I'm sure something probably will. All right, enough talking in the dark here. This is probably a weird clip. Let's climb in the back here and turn some lights on. Whew, that's a little better. I haven't put my dishes away from earlier on today. <laughs> my rubber seal fell off my door today in the wind outside when I was kind of like middle of Saskatchewan. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta put it back up. <sighs> Filming while you're traveling like I am right now, it's extremely hard to make content and I like to make something for you guys every day and for myself every day. But when you're traveling and driving 12 hours freaking straight to places that I, I don't even know what this town, the name of this town is. And I don't have data on my phone so I can't exactly just Google where I am. I didn't see the sign because it was dark. I just kind of blasted in here. I'm like, oh, a town, and I pulled in. I don't like driving at night or in the dark or in the rain. I guess night and dark is the same thing. I am not one of those kind of people that can travel that way. It doesn't work for me. My eyes don't focus well, and it's just bad. I'm like, ah, oh, I just got so strained. I am leaning over the steering wheel trying to see out the front. And then you pull into towns like this blind. Blind meaning you don't know what to expect, you don't know where you're going to park, you don't know what it's going to be like, if it's going to be grimy, if there's even going to be a place to park. But that's where you use some of the things that I said here. Just drive around and park somewhere for a while and just soak it all in. Everywhere you go has an energy and you'll know, I'm like, oh, this doesn't feel like a good neighborhood. That's the energy from the neighborhood telling you, yo, this is not a good spot. And even if you have to pull up somewhere like I did over there and just sit for a little bit and take a look at the kind of cars that are around and the kind of people that are walking by or you just do what I did and just take it by chance. I parked in a parking lot. There's a semi truck just over here. You know, it's a big empty lot. I don't know. Maybe the police will come knock on my van tonight being that they're local small, small, small town police. I'm sorry. I just heard something outside. That was the sound of the tires on the train tracks. <laughs> And that's where that tip and tip and stuff comes in. When you pull somewhere, just soak in all the around the van noises. That way when you're in here, you're not like, oh, what was that? Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's the weird bump on the corner or that's the pothole that those cars keep hitting over there. Okay, now I know these sounds are normal in the van. Not to freaking worry that nothing's going on outside. I'm not that paranoid person. I'm, I, I hate saying it like this, but I'm a tough guy when it comes to that kind of stuff. If you want to mess with my van, bring it on. <laughs> I have no fear when it comes to that at all. 
And for the most part, if they're going to break in my van, they're not expecting me to be back here. And when I get up and come freaking roaring through that curtain, they're going to cry. I do understand that people have a little bit of a fear about what it's going to be like to park in a strange town for the first time. And having those fears is normal. Having those thoughts and feelings is normal. But once you do it once and you realize that wasn't bad and you do it twice, ah, it was all right. Three times, no big deal. <laughs> But those things come with just time and experience because people worry about all sorts of stuff prior to living in it. You know, worry about like I know for me, the very first time I ever parked in the backcountry because I'm not a backcountry kind of guy. So when I put myself in the woods the first time, it was just me dead silence outside the van and I'm not used to dead silence. So it was just me and nothing outside but whatever wildlife was creeping around the van in the middle of the night. But those things there, you gotta treat them as an experience instead of going in them fearful. Do you know what I'm saying? You have keys on your home, you could jump in, start it, and move it faster than you could in your home that you're living, like an apartment or anything like that. If things go sideways, you can't exactly just get in and move your whole house. Well, in this life, you can. All right, so I'm gonna go to bed now. Thanks for watching today's video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow is another long travel day, so who knows if I'm gonna find something interesting to film. I'm heading to Thunder Bay, Ontario. I should be there. I would love to be there tomorrow. That's like another 11 hours of driving or 12 hours of driving. I did another thousand kilometers today, so if I can bang out another thousand tomorrow, oh my goodness picking up little crews and I'm so freaking excited. So excited. Ah, he's got this face, he's so cute. All right, everybody, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.